Hello, in this video I'll show a way to define in a hyper study uh, a study where you have to deal with radius model with multiple load cases. So let's say that you want to uh, optimize or evaluate your system on three different load cases, which would be for instance initial velocity with 5 mm per second, 10 mm per second and 15 mm per second without having to define three different models and link the variable together. So in order to do so, um, I have created in, I created in each um, subdirectory here, one include which contains only the initial velocity. If I edit it, uh, so just initial velocity, uh, just for each uh, load case. And if you look at each one, uh, it has the same um, name, uh, just for the purpose that if I now edit my master file, the first one, I'm using um, a nice call to the top. I have defined this line, uh, hashtag include dot slash inival dot ink. So in the current state, the radius model won't work because inival dot ink is not in the same directory. But this is required in order to uh, me to create my setup in HyperStudy. So now let's go to HyperStudy and have a look at how to do it. So I created a new study. I pointed on the. So let me try again. Show again. Discard. I'm pointing and take care to always point. Sorry to your the directory which contains your data so that you don't have to search after a while where is your uh, study. I will add a first model which will be a parameterized file. Okay. As a parameter file, I will pick the, the root of thread file. There is no parameter, yes. Uh, there is no parameter yet to do you want to create, yes. And as I'm dealing with the radius, and I will set as parameters some material data. Let me hit control on my keyboard. You see this, this control plus selector. Let me switch to 20 digits because floating values on radius are defined on 20 digits. And let me pick, for instance, control left click. The yell stress. Okay, let me pick, create, right click, create parameter, the adding, coefficient, uh, adding parameter, sorry. and let me click at the third variable, the adding coefficient. Okay, okay. Um, so I will use radius as script, but you can point uh, to a script which submits, for instance, your analysis on a remote server. Um, and for this one, so let me call this one uh, 5 mm second, for instance. And for this one to be able to run, I need to go to model resource and add two extra items. So I need to add an input file, which would be the one.rat file, which will be necessary to compute because it is a file which contains the simulation information. And I have also to add as input file my inevitable.ink. And I will also copy it. So now you see in my M1 directory, inevitable.ink it has the same location as the first run.rat. So this will work. So let's Import my variables, go to the next step. My variables are correctly defined. And let's make sure that this works fine. So if I switch to the directory view, let me click on right. You see that there is an approach subdirectory which has been created. And if I deploy it, I retrieve my inval.ink and I my file. So now I can execute. 
and I see the simulation in, is ongoing. Um, the, uh, currently, I'm in the starter because I see the zero dot out file, and now the one dot out has been generated. So that means that the engine has started, and in a few seconds, um, maybe a few couple of seconds, I should have the results done. It may take a bit of time. Uh, if needed, I'll cut the video and uh, you see that I have a first result which is generated. I may have defined some options um, in the... Okay, and here uh, my engine file is done. Um, so, great. So, now this works fine and I could then extract some responses. Let me go back to Explorer then go back to define model and to deal with the two other cases let me add two new models which will be with type operator operators means I don't need any model with variables for this one what I will do basically is to say that I want to deal with radios too and now it's a matter from where I pick my information to. So again, I will switch to model resources. For operator 1, what do I need? I need this 0.rad file, which has been generated 1. So from M1, I will right-click, add an output file, and say that the 0.rad file is an output file. And then in operator 1, can add a link resource and say that I want this first one, the root of thread, to be here. And same for, um, I can add again my input as input file, my random thread file, and uh, the include for 10 millimeters per second, enable.inc. And each time, think about switching to copy. And you see that you will have your first run of the thread one.rad inval.inc and same for operator here add link resource so the first one to root the rad add input file I will pick the one.rad file and I will pick the 50 millimeters per second inval.inc uh, and switch them to copy. Copy, so here you should see a different result. You may have a look at block view. Let me try to see what I get from block view. So I have this 5 millimeters per second with all these files. And then I have operator model operator 1 with radius, model operator 2 with radius with the different file which comes here. So this seems pretty okay. And now what I could do, and this allows me to have only three variables and not to have the variable of each model and to define the links between yield stress of model 1 and yield stress of model 2 and yield stress of model 3, for instance. So now I can go here, uh, make the right, uh, make the right, right here, and execute the different steps. Okay, this one was pretty fast. I think I've missed something in the define model definition. Okay, here yeah, I have to step the file. So, first run. Let's go to the zero dot shred. Uh, and I can define some arguments minus 74, for instance. I can do it also here. Minus NT4. And here I can copy and paste information. So let me go back to test model, try again the execute. And here it should be better now. And so the, the model is running fine. So model 3 and as a last recommendation, I did it for the first model, just here, think about changing the labels of your model so that you remember which model you're looking at, and that's done.